Traits in Rust is a way to have shared behavior. That means that one or more types can share the same behavior. Let's create two types that could share the same behavior. Now we can define a trait called drawable that has a draw function. Note that the draw function ends with a semicolon. That means that this function has no body. We have to implement this function everywhere we implement the drawable trait. Let's implement drawable for both our rect and our circle. So what's the point of this then? We could have implemented the draw function directly on the rectangle or the circle. Well, by using a trait, we can use a trait object. That means that we can store trait objects in a vector, for instance. So let's look at that. A vector can only contain one type. That means if we try to create a vector that holds both a rect and a circle, that's going to fail. The way to do this is to use trait objects. We can either put a rect and a circle in a box or we can take a reference to them. However, this is not enough. We also have to specify the type of the vector. This is now a vector of boxed trait objects. Finally, we can iterate over these and call the draw function. One of the advantages of putting them in a box rather than taking a reference to them means that we can move them and place them on a struct, for instance. Another really cool thing we can do with traits is we can implement them for existing types. That means we can implement drawable for a string if we so wanted. So let's do that. And let's add a string to our shapes. We can also add a default implementation of a function to our trait, so let's do that. We'll add a describe function that is optional, that means that we can choose to implement this whenever we implement the drawable trait, but we don't have to. To override the default implementation, simply add your own where you implement the trait. And we can now see that it outputs rect rather than the default describe. The last thing to mention is what happens when you have two traits with the same function name implemented for the same type. Let's have a look at that. Let's create a trait that also has a draw function just like a drawable and implement that for our rectangle. This is fine for a vector that contains drawable trait objects, but what happens if we call the draw function directly on the rect? As we can see here from the error message, there are multiple draw methods on a rect, and the way we can get around that is actually listed in the error message at the bottom. We can specify which draw function we want to use by using the trait directly and passing a rectangle as a reference. And now you know something about traits.